So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Google ad and drive that to a blog post. And then that blog post is going to go over to Amazon and hopefully make a sale there. So this is the blog post I'm going to be using today. Stop using retinol cream now. Here's why. So retinol has a lot of searches. People use retinol, but retinol is actually very toxic to your eyelids. And so what I'm trying to do is convince you to stop using retinol cream and then try to use ours. So a problem that your product solves retinal cream causing dry eye, causing my booming gland dysfunction, causing problems with your eyelid. And then use our cream instead, which we formulated without retinol. And we formulated it without phenoxyethanol, which is in almost all eye creams as well. Phenoxyethanol does the same thing, causes toxicity to the eyelid. So we explain that. So we explain the harmful effects of retinol, the role of my bomian glands, those eyelid glands that I just talked about, what they do to them, and then what you can do instead. So use this instead, hydrate eye cream face moisturizer, and then you can go on and purchase. We also put in our routine, and then you can see, if you click over here, you can see that attribution link right up there. Then get 50% off on Amazon. All right, so we got the blog post right here. We're gonna come over here to campaigns in Google. I'm gonna hit plus new campaign. I'm gonna go get the name of our campaign from our spreadsheet. Remember, always plan everything out before you actually do it. So blog 03, we're going to come back over here. Website traffic. Hit continue. Search. So put your website in right there. Oh. That will just give you more ideas for your blog. And then put your name right there. So blog 03, stop using retinol cream. We're going to start new. All right, so I'm going to start this one out at $10 a day. I'm going to scroll down here and do maximize clicks. Click next. We're going to uncheck both of these. We're only going to advertise to the United States. Whatever language you're advertising in, and then click next. So it will give you a list of keywords to use. And I recommend trying it. It's a suggested keyword list. Um, I've had some success with it, but not much, but I'm going to delete all these and I'm going to do phrase for retinol exact for retinol. And you can see right there, we're going to get 64 clicks on $10 a day at about 16 cents per click. So then I'm going to come down here and make the ad. Stop using retinol cream now. What you need to know in the harmful effects of retinol, what to use instead. All right, so then we'll come over here. You can see they actually write the, when you put your website in at the beginning, they actually kind of write your ads for you. So that looks pretty good. We're gonna hit done, we're gonna hit next. And you can put site link extensions in as well. So I'm going to select and create new ones. So let's see if we have any retinol ones right now. So there's one and we kind of have some related articles. So I'm going to look at those. So avoid these in your eye cream and face moisturizer. Okay, so we have three site link extensions, just kind of going over different articles that we have. And I'm gonna add a fourth one for the attribution link that we're going after. So um, that eye cream. Okay, 
save all those. And then what we're gonna do is come back up here to budget and bidding. And we're gonna set maximum cost per click. And so let's see what happens if we set it at 10 cents. You can see our clicks actually go down to 16 cents. So let's go back up to 15 cents. It's up to 36 cents. So let's go up to 20 cents. And how about 25? Okay, so that's the 60 cents cents. So 25 cents a day is the maximum we'll click pay. So let's go all the way back down to review. Make sure that's unclicked. And then we'll hit publish. So that's how you create a Google ad to a blog. Now what I like to do is this keyword link, I like to put it into our tracking sheet. All right, so now we'll make adjustments according to what we need to do here. So let me pull up the adjustment sheet and then we'll go over that real quick. Okay, so here are the adjustments right here. So if you're not profitable, set a maximum cost per click limit and lower it as needed. I usually go 10% below the average cost per click. If you're not getting impressions, check for approval and relevance. Increase the bids if you have a maximum CPC set. If you have impressions but no clicks, redo your ads. If you're running out of budget but hitting your ROAS goals, increase your budget. If you're getting lots of clicks but no sales, make sure your blog post is relevant for what you're bidding on or the problem that make sure you're focusing on the problem that your product solves. The biggest one you're going to be working on is this one right here. If you're not profitable, how do you change your CPC limit? And how should you analyze that? So let me show you one, an example in AdWords so you can see that. So here I am inside the search keywords area of my campaign. And let's hypothetically say that this campaign is not profitable for me. So what I'm gonna do is let's go back to that date range. Let's just go back to the last, last week. And you can see my average cost per click is 33 cents. So if I'm not profitable, I'm gonna drop this below. So I'm gonna highlight all of these. I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna click change maximum CPC. So I'm gonna go 10% to 20% below that. And I say 10 to 20% because it depends on how high you're bidding. If you're bidding really high, you can go a lot bigger. But if you're bidding lower, like 33 cents, I'm not gonna lower it that much. So I'm probably gonna go down to about probably 29 cents. So that's about 10% below that. Hit apply. And that's all the adjustment you have to make and then come back and, and check it out next week. That's pretty much all you have to do to make adjustments.